Brady. Okay, so that is that. That's different. And I think maybe I'll just put some fat ones over there. Uh, yeah. Eh, hey, Russell? Gamer? Welcome to the show, you guys. Nice to see you. What is this, Tuesday? This is Tuesday. Wow. Another spectacular Tuesday. It is pouring down rain outside and it is cold in here. <laughs> Thank you, grandson. Hi, Oliver. Nice to see you. Hey, how you doing, Calm? Welcome to the show. What's what? I don't know, Calm. I have no idea. I too. Welcome to my show. Oh, what's good? Well, I would say uh, number one is good. And uh, the Paper Army is good. Oh, wait. Ah, Pokemon. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Do, do, dee, do, do. Hi, Max. Welcome to the show. Hi, Noe. LBJ, how are you doing? Uh, what am I making today? Well, I'm probably making small talk, uh, but I'm working on the A10, um, which is something I got to do. <laughs> I'm doing good, Pokemon. Nice. How are you doing? Howdy, Sarah. Welcome to the show. Hi, Seal. Pathfinder, welcome back. Hi, Best. Welcome to my show. And that, uh, wait a minute. Uh, Giberson. Ho, ho, ho. No. <laughs> Hi, Seal. That's twice. How are you doing? I don't split screen. I don't battle people. I love my fans all across the world better. And thank you all for the likes you're putting up and for all the amazing things you guys do. It's just, it's just amazing. Oh, it's all right, Poster. You're not late. I've only been on the show for two minutes. My day's going good, uh, Sarah. Thank you very much. Thank you for the rose seal. And thank you all for your support. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. I am going to be working on this, too. Actually, I don't need to do the little one. I should probably work on this one for you guys. Since uh, some of the folks would like to see me do something with this. Hi, Meeper. Welcome back. Thank you, too. I don't want to lose those. Okay, so I don't want to lose these little parts. So one of the ways to not do that is to have these little cups that you can put stuff in. Oh, my favorite guy? You're talking about General Grievous? General Grievous is a pain in my backside. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm doing good, aviation. It's just, it's cold in here. And it's cold and wet outside. Yeah, this build right here. Insane hard build, you guys. If any of you decide to pick up my paper engineering skills, please do not try this until you're 10 years into your building process. Mega Polly, nice to see ya. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does look good, uh, but still, nightmare build, everybody. Absolutely nightmare build. Opinion on Star Wars. Well... I have a pretty good opinion about Star Wars. Uh, it's my favorite series of all time. And I like Star Trek too. Uh, no, Sarah, that would be unfair to everybody that puts in each time. And I'm sorry I can't do that. Uh, because then the wheel would just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And all the people who put in new stuff would get pushed farther and farther around. And I, so I can't do that. And uh, it's one of those kind of things that people uh, get into um, the wheel to win something, but I can't just keep saving everybody over and over again. And so I'm sorry, but that's one of the things that I can't do. Um, the favorite piece that I finished too is this here, um, uh, Zeku Gundam, right here. This is it. Hi, Yogamatic. <laughs> That's a cool name. Lurk? 
Favorite Star Wars movie? I can't go backwards in time, so I would have to go with Rogue One. Uh, that was the last favorite I saw. Thank you, Sean, very much. I appreciate it. And this is the cool stuff you guys can learn if you go to my YouTube site, The Paper Engineer. Oh, my... Uh, uh, Max wants to see the biggest piece. Well, I've got it up here. Uh, the biggest piece is the Star Destroyer. And um, it is one of those kind of things that... Uh, it's... Uh, this is a very difficult build in the respect that if you want... You can make every one of these modular pieces everywhere in this thing uh, different. And so, hi, Kenzie. Welcome to the show. Nice to see you. Nope, and I, I don't have any F-15s. It's one of those deals where it takes a lot of time to build these. And when I'm talking on a show for two or three hours, that's two or three hours that I don't get to build. Uh, yeah, uh, Death Star, um, Death Star, I do have a Death Star, it's behind me, but anyway, this is, uh, this is kind of cool, <laughs> well, thank you, Pokemon, um, you have to get old, I started this, uh, paper engineering project of mine in 2010, and so, no, Sean, I don't have any British jets. I only have the one that I'm working on right here. This is the only warplane I've got. And so, and I've got other stuff I've got to build. Thank you, AB. Oh, it's okay, Jeff. And that's looking for a girlfriend. You're not that late. It's only seven minutes past the start. Uh, a meal? I do have some X-Wings. I got two. I got a micro X-Wing and I have a full-size one. And so, but like with all of this stuff, I almost don't have room to put it down anywhere when I'm working on showing other things. And I don't, oh, my X-Wing is up here. All right, now something I got to do. This is this is a screen that I'm working on for uh, a slideshow. And so I can take that down now and bring out the X-Wing and show everybody this. And this X-Wing is actually uh, spring-loaded, all right? Well, um, I don't, but my brother-in-law does have. Oh, yeah, your PlayStation? That's fantastic. <laughs> well, well, thank you, Yogamatic. Uh, this has a spring in the back, and I can uh, lever it to uh to open it up and then when you take the lever loose it shuts itself off by itself oh thank you uh, r n i i rin 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 oh darn it you told me how to say your name the other day and i forgot <laughs> and so anyway hi snoopy I just showed it. The Star Destroyer is the biggest. Hi, Toby. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show, everyone. Thank you all for joining. Um, I don't understand Pokemon. <laughs> oh, Baker. Thank you very much for your support. Awesome, you guys. Thank you all. Rin. Rin. R-I-N. Rin. Thank you, Rin. Doc got it. R-N-I is... Or I N. You may have to tell me a couple more times, Rin, but I will keep working on it. Hi, Alex. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you for the hot pepper aviation. Uh, yes, yes, Zen. I do have tutorials on YouTube. Uh, no, I am not. Even though it is my favorite car of all time, I have no plans of making the Corvette. I do have plans on making a DeLorean. Uh, only a Micro Machine, Emil, uh, in the Y-Wing. Yeah, I only have a Micro Machine of it. And I can actually show it to you. I think I got it right down here. Okay. 
this is my Gray Bar Motel toy box. And uh, I played, uh, because I was the GM in the Star Wars game, I played with all of these things in the game. Uh, whenever I'd come up with a new scenario, I would go ahead and uh, start building something new. Here it is. This is the only Y-Wing I've got. I, I did not get a chance to make a big one. No, nope, have no trains. And I've actually only got two planes. I've got the expert from the 80s X-Men. What do you think you could be the most powerful paper make there? Wood. Would be the most powerful paper make there. Um, well, uh, that's hard saying. Uh, what would be the most powerful? I think the most intricate and uh, my favorite piece is the Zeku Gundam. And so, um, it's not necessarily the most powerful, but it was the most ingenious. All of the things that work on it. Oh, thank you, Sage. <laughs> Well, Emil, the, the nice thing about these is that, um, okay, they're, they're made out of, they're made out of paper, all right? And I teach people how to build these uh, super strong so that you can play with them for years. And since they're paper, if you break something, you just glue it back on. It's Elmer's glue. Oop. Any white school glue works, but Elmer's is, I think, the best. And so, anyway, that's the best way to do that. Well, I have this Zeku. I have this Zeku Gundam. A super deformed one. <laughs> thank you, Yoga Matic, very much. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, looking for a girlfriend, for your subscription, very much. I do. I have a stepson and a daughter. They don't live anywhere near me, though. Uh, well, uh, pixels. I think building furniture out of cardboard is an economical way to make furniture. And uh, if it gets broke, you just glue it back together or make a new one. Oh, gamer, absolutely. Just just let me know um, what you changed it to. <laughs> I, oh, web? Web. Remember me from where, Webb? <laughs> Don't leave me hanging like that. Hi, Lemon. I do. I do have an AT-AT walker. Actually, um, I have a couple of them. Uh, I have an AT-AT micro machine. Funny story on this one, too. Oh, yesterday. You were here yesterday? Doggone it, Webb. I'm sorry. Thank you, Pixel. <laughs> Emil, I, I do at times, yes. I am live every night, yes, uh, Pokemon, Monday through Friday. I do my live shows just like if I was on TV. I have a set time that I start and I try to end uh, two hours later. And so anyway, yeah. Thank you, Ren, very much. Um, well, TikToker, I think that, um, it would be a much easier project and that, that ATST is very difficult. Okay. If you make a small one, now this used to be really good till my granddaughter got a hold of it <laughs> and it got kind of mangled. But if you make a little one, uh, that would be a reasonably easy thing to make. But my tutorial on these snow speeders, probably the best easy thing to do. Because it's basically a, a base piece and the two sides and then all the detail work. Uh, well, a uh, cat, uh, I do sell them, but I don't sell the micro machines. I sell the big ones. And um, so far, I have not sold one yet, but I am working on it. Uh, there is one... Uh, I was offered, okay, the offer on this Zeku Gundam is 100K. And I told the man that wants this that I would take it. 
Yes. Yes on on yes on yes. And that's Lurk? Absolutely. I can't say it here. I have to say YouTube. But I do. I'm called the paper engineer. I've been doing this, um, Alex, since 2010. My very first piece was this here Millennium Falcon uh, back in 2010. And there was nobody, there's still this, only the people doing this is that know me right here on TikTok or YouTube. And so this is my hobby. I created it. I went from building that to building something like this. And so I've got a lot of experience on this now, 14 years worth. I'm doing good, user. Thank you very much. I hope you are well. Well, Pokemon, that's the nice thing. I don't dream about making anything. <laughs> I don't. I just I just start another make. And the thing is, a, uh, a lot... Of, oh, thank you, Real. Thank you, partner. <laughs> yes, Alex, it is. Uh, and I've learned how to build superstructures a lot better over the years. <laughs> Hi, Real. Welcome back. Oh, well, uh, Joe, when I sell the, the Gundam, that will be my biggest sale. And so, it's Y-Wing. I, I made these using staples uh, to make, straightened out staples to make this. Thank you, Emil, very much. And I hope you learned something from, from my YouTube site. Because you can make this stuff, you guys. It's, it's, it's cheap. It's the cheapest hobby on the planet. All your paper comes right out of your kitchen. Yeah, burp gun. And so, it's just amazing. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, and honey bunny, you don't have to unblock them all at once. Yeah, and Legos cost a bunch, all right? So my my channel is, you know, what I teach is, is you need some Elmer's glue and basic tools. Um, your basic tools are, you need some tweezers. Almost everybody has these tweezers. And I recommend this rule. It's a machine of steel rule. Hi, Alexi. Nice to see you, Alexi. Welcome back. Oh, you're here from... Uh, Patrick's from... Uh, come over from TikTok. <laughs> That's cool. And thank you, Alexi. Welcome to the show. Uh, well, Sean, I don't have time to do Airfix. I, I really don't. It's one of those kind of things. It's weird. Hey, uh, sweetheart... You, you maybe want to stop unblocking those people if, for a while. Please. Oh, you changed your name? <laughs> well, grandson, welcome back. <laughs> nice name change. And thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, hey, honey bunny, would you, would you uh, quit unblocking people for a while, please? Uh, no, official. Um, I'm sorry, official. I, I don't, I don't uh, do that. I talk with my fans and stuff. Oh, that's fantastic, Web. Have you gone to my YouTube site, The Paper Engineer? My, uh, my YouTube channel is The Paper Engineer. And so, wow. Um, hi, Ryan. Nice to see you. Welcome. You're you're for watching from England, E4. Oh, that's fantastic news. Thank you for coming to my show. Um, all I build paper toys from recycled paper out of my kitchen, and. I teach you how to do this. Um, it's one of them kind of cool things that you can do everywhere. Yes, Neon, I remember you. Nice to see you again. Welcome back. 
I said, Scotland's in. Oh my goodness sakes. Uh, thank you. In, cor in correction? <laughs> Welcome back. Howdy, Finn. Nice. Welcome, everyone. Yes, in correction, I remember you. Hi, Glenn. Nice to see you. Uh, my name is Michael, uh, the paper engineer. Uh, yes, looking for a girlfriend is typing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my favorite project. That is, um, that is this one. And so, <laughs> my next project after the A-10s are done, after these are completed, I'm going to make Daleks from Doctor Who. It got ran over by a bulldozer. Ah, uh, that's a squishy situation. Yeah, cat, absolutely. <laughs> Hi, Charlie Chaplin. Welcome to my show, you guys. Thank you all for coming by. Howdy, Michael. Welcome. Hardest project, hardest project of all is by far this General Grievous. F-22, a yeah, very good aircraft. Um... Um, Reen, uh, I can't talk about that on here. TikTok bans me. And I'm trying to get the link tree hooked back up. But if you go to YouTube, there's a, uh, some kids over there that have Now Chat Podcast. If you go to Now Chat Podcast on YouTube, episode 28 explains every reason why I was in the uh, Gray Bar Motel. And so, yeah, it's one of them things that I can't talk about here. Sweetheart, I can't understand a lot of the questions that are coming in. You're unblocking too many people. Oh, you're back on TikTok. <laughs> Lancaster? Oh, that's, that's spectacular news. Well, Patrick, um, you have to get to be old to be just like me. <laughs> and I hope that doesn't happen to you. I really do. Uh, Y O N H. Yon, Yona, I'm I'm doing good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, grandson, very much. And I have grandkids and kids all over the world. Thank you for the roses in correction, very much. Yes, I did, Web. Uh, there's thirteen of them all over the world. Germany, uh, UK. Uh, USA, Netherlands, I believe, has one, too. Thank you, Yon. I hope I'm getting your name close to correct. Well, thank you, Pokemon. I love everyone. It's just absolutely amazing, you guys. Emil's from Germany. Oh, that's cool. E-T-O-T- I L I E, Otili, thank you. Uh, what am I doing today, uh, Bruce? I'm trying to work on this, uh, the A10. And uh, thank you guys for putting up all the likes you do and for sharing me with others. That's absolutely just stunning, amazing. And so anyway, this is what I'm doing. Uh, Sean is Irish. Nice. Thank you. In correction for the roses. Uh, yes, and the uh, the burp gun in the front uh, turns. The turbines also turn. I know, I know, Grievous is, but I tell you what, I had to put him down. I had to start working on some other stuff. My brain was like shorting out because of it. And so anyway, I uh, know I've never played Fortnite. You're Welsh? Awesome, Web. I I'm Bohemian uh, by way back. <laughs> But this is all the free paper you can get uh, in your kitchen if you want to start this. And you need some Elmer's glue or PVA if you're in Europe. Georgian? 
Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, you don't have those cart? Do you have do you have uh, instant rice cartons or I any kind of cereal or crackers? Because just about every kind of carton uh, works. But I don't know if you don't have it. That's really bad. I'm from Washington State, uh, USA. Welcome back, Luke. Hi, Robert. Nice to see you. Jackson, South Carolina. Oh, that's cool. Uh, well, uh, Bruce, not cardboard, card stock. This is like, um, you know, uh, greeting card stuff. The podcast is Now Chat Podcast, episode 28. Thank you, Ren, for the rose. Thank you, sports. Very much. Uh, you may be the only person from the Balkans, uh, and but you've not been the only one. Uh, for the past two years, I've been getting people from all over the world. <laughs> Thank you, Robert, and hi to you as well. Welcome back, Pokemon. Uh, favorite song? Uh, too many songs. I, I got too many songs. I don't have a favorite. Well, it's it's up to you in correction. I will definitely accept the galaxy. And so, if you would like to send a galaxy, I am paying attention and I will watch for it. Thank you, Ren. Oh, jeez. Salute in correction. Thank you for the galaxy. That made my day. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, right here. Thank you all. That is spectacular. Thank you very much. The Netherlands? Oh, nice. I will drag. Dragon. Oh, it's dragon. Oh, drag. Obvious. <laughs> well, I have to call you drag. Well, I do too. I wish I had more folks in. I don't know what the deal. I think it's the likes. I think if everybody was just smashing out the likes, that would put me up on the For You page and it would bring in more people. Sean? Jesus Martin? I don't know him. Norway? Welcome in, my friend. Nice to see you. You bet, Drag. Thanks. Um, I don't know what kind of glue that is. If it is a school glue, it's safe for paper. And that's a good thing about it. Welcome in, Sweden. Oh, that's good, Bruce. I'm glad I was in your For You page. Thank you, Rin. And so, I don't know, I guess uh, that, that time... Oh, subscribe. Thank you, incorrection. I'm doing good, Dino. Welcome to my show. Nice to see you. Uh, yeah, I probably got more than that as well. But yeah, I got two grandsons in the show right now. Oh, it was on your For You page as well. Thank you guys for smashing out the likes because that puts everybody on the For You page. And everyone that sends in, um, I guess, um, you know, invites to invite your friends in. That also helps out. Hi, Susan. Nice to see you. Thank you, Emil. Um, I only have one other plane, okay? And that is the X-Men's X-Bird from the 1980s. And that's this one here. And I, I don't have any helicopters, you guys. I just never had time to build one. And so this is the cool thing that you can do. And remember, if you take my hobby on and decide to start doing that, Master Paul, <laughs> Master Paul's in, you guys. Somebody go grab a Kung Fu Panda. Um, you know, you know the guy. <laughs> anyway, make your stands come off so that you can absolutely fly your toys around. How, how am I not tired? I don't know. You guys energize me. That, that's a cool thing. Poland's in. Welcome. 
Yeah, I've got a bunch of Star Wars stuff for sure. Thank you, Bruce. It is kind of cool. Hi, Amelia. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Uh, the biggest thing, Master Poe, is the Star Destroyer. It's over 11,390 pieces. Belgium? Welcome, you guys. Thank you for coming by and stopping in and visiting. I'll try to get to everybody's comments. Thank you, Pokemon. I hope so, too. I really do. Saza? Welcome to the show. Uh, Zopa. Hong Kong? Nice. Hey, Hong Kong, guess what? The Gundam competition. They won't let me enter the Gundam competition with my Zeku because it's not Bandai. I would love to show this off in Japan, but I don't know how. It's one of them kind of, you know, well, Hong Kong. Hong Kong's not Japan. Hong Kong is China, I think. Doggone it. I'm getting all goofed up. But anyway, hi, Bryce. Welcome to the show. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Where's Hong Kong? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. That's, 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 hmm, that's China, I believe. I, I know it is. <laughs> Yeah, the SR-71 Blackbird uh, from the 1980s X-Men stuff. Favorite food? Um, I have to go with uh, fried chicken and then any Oriental food. Hong Kong's in China. Thank you, Michael. I screwed that up, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, uh, Bandai won't let me enter this in the Gundam competition because it's not a Bandai model, which is really crazy. Hi, Alfie. Welcome to the show. Doggone it. I, I think I, I scared off our friends from Hong Kong. Uh, favorite British jet? I think, uh, I'm not sure. Because, um, yeah. Well, Yon, uh, it depends. I, um, I have to have somebody go look at your channel. And uh, because I don't, I don't follow a lot of people. Hi, Snoopy. Hi, cat food. Um, you build it, you smash it. Okay, cat food, that's how that works. You learn how to build it, then you smash it. Because telling me, you, you're out of your mind. <laughs> this was 200-hour build. Why would I do that? You know, come on, because you said so. Ha, that won't work. Yes, it's homemade. Bruce, I made it out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. Uh, just like this, okay? Hi, Morgan. Welcome to the show. Nice to see you. Uh, favorite car? Corvette Supercar. And the original, back in 1953. <laughs> yeah, I know, Yoga. How's it so smooth? Uh, because I painted it with acrylic paint and the acrylic paint uh, makes it look like it's plastic. Oh, 63 Spirit. Oh, Michael, thanks. That's cool. Oh, yeah, Sean. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I can. Yon, I do. Uh, yes, Bruce. SR-71 Blackbird from the 1980s comics uh, of the X-Men. Hi, Axton. Nice to see you. Welcome back. No, Pokemon, who do I remind you of? Uh, this one here, Axton, it was 200 hours times 50 bucks an hour. So uh, you're looking at 10 grand if you would like to buy this. Uh, guaranteed to be the only one ever in existence. I will never make another one. And uh, it was made in the Gray Bar Motel. I can't go back. Not yet. I am going to do Warhammer coming up next year. Well, Sean, I don't know what else to call it. It kind of looks like an SR-71. 
it's it's a uh, comic book version of it, and uh, it does not look like the model I had in the 1960s of the SR-71. Thank you, Yogamatic, very much. Oh, I love Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool's cool. Well, looking for a girlfriend? Uh, why don't you uh, get some rest? You know, it's late over there. All right, Sean. Good night. Take care. Uh, this is the um, SR-71 comic book version of the X-Men's SR-71 Blackbird. Good night, Emil. Or are you telling somebody else good night? <laughs> Thank you, Rin. Thank you, Eagle. And this one is the one I'm building right now. And so, yeah. Well, thank you, Axton. And um, I send the letter of authenticity with this. Where it was made, how I made it, and all that kind of really cool stuff. So if somebody pays me that much money for this, it uh, deserves to be in a showcase. And uh, I'll have all the documentation. Even the stand down here tells about what I did and where it was done. How to make this form. All right. You see, um, you see this shape. The shape of this runs right down to here. All right. That is the superstructure or the chassis that I used. All right. I built it in this shape. Then what I did after that was glued together, then I glued this on and this on. Once those are done, then you add all of the ribbing, which is this stuff right here. You add all of this, and then you start putting on uh, the paper skin, and then the armor, and you sand all the rough stuff down, and then you wipe it down with glue so that it's nice and smooth. And uh, Batman? I oh, know. I'm a garden gnome, not Batman. And then you put on the detail work. And um, so anyway, that's what this stuff is. And say, say if you build this and you break off one of these wings, what happens is they're made out of paper. You just glue them back on. Um, well, I'm not sure. I hope to have the A-10 done in a couple of weeks, but it all depends on if I talk too much. Uh, can I do a Hulkbuster? No, I can't. I don't have time. I'm sorry. I do no Marvel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the X-Men. Yes, I do. And thank you all for sharing me with others and putting up all the likes to get me on the For You page. That is way cool. You bet. Uh, Yon, thank you very much. Welcome back. Madden, Madden, too much Madden. <laughs> you play the you play the video game too much, do you? Oh, that's good, Stacy. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. You bet, Shadow. Take care. Oh yeah. A uh, movie you want to watch is out tomorrow. What movie is it? Well, uh, Garrett, um, I was always a football player in high school, so I kind of uh, like football better than basketball, but I don't watch sports anymore. And it's one of those kind of things I just don't have time. Um, Julia, right now what I'm building is the A-10. That's what I'm doing. Oh, yum. Welcome back to the show. Yes, boss, I made this out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. That's what I teach people how to do on my YouTube site, the paper engineer. You bet, Stacy. I hope you do too. And if you have questions, I can help. Uh, my most expensive work is a Star Destroyer at a quarter of a million. Thank you, boss. <laughs> Okay, 
so well I could Julia but that's kind of boring um, sticks or sticks <laughs> uh, well kind of like wood glue it's uh, just school glue any white glue PVA Elmer's they all work really good so it, this is what I used and I've been using it since 2010 when I started this hobby all right, I still got this, and it just it doesn't it doesn't wear out. Oop. Hi, <laughs> Rick. Welcome. Nice to see you. All right, I Yon. I will be back tomorrow at noon Pacific Standard Time or about 40 minutes earlier than right now. And so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I teach, one of the things I teach you how to do is make the micro machines first. Yes, Lars, it's the Blackbird from the X-Men back in the 80s comic books. Yes, yeah, Bruce. Everything that you see on my YouTube channel and right here, I've made out of paper. All of them. And so, I'll remember you, Yon. You bet. It is. And that's Murbot? Murbot. Nice. Thank you, Lars. Uh, my least expensive uh, is this one right here. This dragonfly, it's 30, it's 35 hours. So, $1,500 for the dragonfly. Made with iris petals, uh, made in the Gray Bar Motel, an old paintbrush, and some beads for eyes. But anyway, this is the cheapest piece I have. Yes, Yon, I sell things. They're just, uh, some of them are really, really, really expensive. And so, um... After, you know, uh, selling a few pieces, it's going to get worse, I'm afraid. And so, I don't... Um, you're investing in one-of-a-kind art pieces is what it is. Oh, thank you, Ren, for the tiny diny. And so, I give you my word of honor, and I will write that on paper, that if you buy any of my pieces, they will never be duplicated. It's like these A-10s. There's five of these. All right, this one is number three, and it's gone. This one is the number four. I haven't finished it yet, but I have to finish this by Friday. And so today's Monday. I got a lot of work to do on this. Uh, no, not the big one. It's, you just, <laughs> Henry, I have so much that I'm doing, it's very hard to complete a piece in a time frame, a specific. Um, Yon, this is the biggest thing that I'm trying to sell right now. This one. And um, the guy that I'm talking to in South Africa has been out of town on a welding project. And his business, that's what he does in South Africa, is he has a welding business. He wants to display this in the front of his office under glass. And so I'm in discussions with that. If this sells, it sets a whole new price record for my stuff. And so uh, that's what I'm uh, working on. Oh, you want out? Okay, come on, you can go out. All right. Uh, my cat just left. And that's Cupcake. She's gone now. <laughs> Uh, the most expensive piece, Julia, I can show you that. Welcome, CJ. Nice to see you. I want to watch the Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, the Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> well, enjoy it. I've seen it back when it was brand new. All right. Most expensive piece. This one. And believe this. The only way I would make another one of these. This was made when I was in uh, incarcerated. You can't duplicate this. 
the only way I would make another one, and it wouldn't be this one at all, uh, would be if somebody gives me a million dollars for it. I will not build another one. This is too hard to build. And so, thank you, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is kind of insane. All right. This took me 536 hours. Uh, 536? Yeah. Yeah, 536 hours and over 11,300 pieces. Frogtown? You said that before. If, if you're going to go away, be yourself. Do the best you can at learning from your mistakes. And so, you know, how much fill work? Well, actually, you build these things uh, one piece at a time, so you don't fill them much. <laughs> well, it's, I'm, I'm kind of, oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Miranda. Um, th these are the kind of things that I teach you how to do. And the nice thing is, because it's made out of paper, yeah, chicken, it's made out of paper. And uh, people can say it's not, but if, where is it? Right here. This hole right there, you can go inside there with a micro camera and you can see the Nike shoe boxes that I built the inside of it with. The hardest part about this build is making everything different all the way around it. And I shot a video of this. I, I may have to check and make sure it's loaded. Uh, but every piece of this is different. Yeah, it weighs about two pounds because it's hollow. All right. It's hollow. Then it's a superstructure. Uh, no, Jasper, I am not. Oh, that's good. That's good looking. I'm glad school was good today. Thank you, Rin, for the tiny dinies. <laughs> well, it, it is it is a masterpiece, yes. And it can't be duplicated, you guys. Oh, thank you, Callum. Got me right there in the heart. Well, that's because it's hollow. All right? It's hollow. I have a superstructure and a chassis inside of this. And then I build on that. Thank you, Barry. Uh, yes, uh, Julia. It's this one right here. The dragonfly. Uh, this is made out of a, a paint stick. A uh, paintbrush stick. Iris petals, bendy wire, and, uh, around a frame. This is it right here. And I got to work on that. So, thank you, Rachel, for the roses. Very much. No, Rin, you are not. I love making people happy. I like... Uh, and getting their minds off of any kind of problems that they have. My favorite piece to make, Justin, is the Zeku Gundam. This by far is my favorite piece right here. And um, I like this one the best. Well, Jasper, if you're building it in a micro machine, that's a good idea. Hi, Ace. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Dot, for the roses. Welcome back, Callum. Thank you, Yoga Matic. It's important to make people as, uh, you know, the best we can make them. And that means we got to be good to do that. Well, I have a vomit. Yeah, I've checked out other Gundam designs. But the thing is, unless I can figure out how to show them off somewhere, there's no point in making any more Gundams. Uh, because the Bandai 
uh, Gundam competition won't let me enter. Oh, thank you. I, what? Thank, thank you very much. And that is uh, four number two. I, I geez, I guess I have to call you Dot. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I try to be, because the whole thing with this world is everybody in this world right now. Not every. I take that back. Not everybody. A lot of the world right now is in turmoil, and they're hurting innocent people all over the world, and um. One of the things, um, uh, my favorite thing is the Gundam. <laughs> well, thank you, Rachel, very much. Welcome, C. Uh, yes, Wanted, go to my YouTube site, The Paper Engineer. Yes, it is a Star Destroyer, Callum. Uh... <laughs> no, Julia, I can only I can only do the videos that are on YouTube, and I try to show everybody how to make different things. But our world is fighting over a bunch of stuff that they really don't need to fight over. Number one, it doesn't matter who you are; it doesn't matter what you are. Welcome back, Jack. It doesn't matter where you are, what color you are, or what religion you are. We are human beings. We are all, at our basic foundation, the same. We're human. If the aliens come in 2024, like I've been told, and I believe they might, we're going to become a galactic civilization overnight. In, in a split second, we'll become galactic. That means we're representing the human race. We have to start being better as human beings and not fighting each other. And I don't know how to fix that. I really don't. But we need to try. And the more people that try, the better it will be for the human race. And we need that. Uh, well, girlfriend, looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> My bad. Sorry about that. Well, looking, I don't know what KMS means. And I'm probably having a hundred people tell me. Thank you, Noah. Thank you very much, Noah. Love you too, Godzilla. I love humanity. And the people in this phone show that I have on YouTube and TikTok and Clapper are some of the best people in the world. Welcome back, Pokemon. Well, how to make the working pieces. I have learned over time how to make finger joints. And so that's how I've done that. And uh, just building different parts of things. And I have, in my YouTube site, I've got slideshows. I think there's five of them on this build. And um, I welcome anyone to go look at them and see. Hi, Layton. Nice to see you. I had a friend in the Great Bar Motel named Layton. It may fail, but keep practicing because you're going to get one that isn't going to fail. Um, what I'm making today is I'm actually working on getting the skin on this A10 right here. Thank you, Bruce. Bustos. Thank you. Um, Axton, the Gray Bar Motel. You have to look that term up. It's from the 20s and 30s. Um, it's, it's being incarcerated. Oh, um, I, I got a Death Star. It's back there. <laughs> yes, they do look amazing. And I plan on painting the shark's teeth on here. Well, um, uh, Daryl, I practiced a lot, all right? You look at this. This is not so good compared to this. This was my first piece in 2010. Howdy, Jack. Welcome back. <laughs> well, thank you, Jack. 
Uh, well, looking, don't. You, you don't. It's just, it's mental, all right? You, it, you have to win the mental battle. And so, you're good. You're good at what you do. Just believe it. I, I yes, Scott, I love model trains, but I can't, I can't build them. I build paper. YouTube channel is called The Paper Engineer. Second hardest creation? Well, um, I don't know. Star Destroyer is second hardest. This is first hardest right here. General Grievous. This, this is, oh my gosh, because you got to make everything work. All right. And so I have to incorporate this malleable wire into it. It's hard build. Extremely hard build. I'm doing good, Master. Very much. And that's Jelly Bean. <laughs> Thank you, Jelly Bean. Thank you, Tix. Uh, Seiko, who won the mini plane? Um, that is, um, geez. Um, I got his, I don't know. <laughs> I got it written down somewhere. I have it written down. Anyway, he won it. This one, this is the next one. It's going on Friday. And so anyone that puts in the, you know, uh, 200 coins or things like that, uh, they get in on the drawing. Uh, no, no, Toby, I can't. You have to go to my YouTube site, the paper engineer. They're there. I normally start one hour earlier than right now. And so, um, that's, and that's Monday through Friday, you guys. I do this like a TV show. All right. It's my phone show, but it's like a TV show. And so I come on at noon Pacific standard time, Monday through Friday. And I stay as long as there's like a hundred people or more in the show, I'll stay for two hours. But anyway, it, micro machines. Learn how to make the micro machines before you try anything big. Thank you, Booker, very much. Oh, that's good, Ren. I hope so. Hi, Slim. Nice to see you. I do sell stuff, but they're uh, they're exceedingly expensive, and so. Thank you, Slim. <laughs> Thank you, Board for Life. <laughs> oh, okay. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I just got contacted by Board for Life. Board for Life is who won this. And so it'll be it'll be going out in the mail next week. Nice. I'm doing good. I'm doing very good. Who is that? Lem? 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 Constantine, I think, oh, Jim. Hi, Jack. Welcome back, Jack. Yes, this is an A10. And uh, it's made from a uh, cracker box. All right? There's a, the there's a UPC code. Cracker box. That's what I built this out of. And I used a couple of sticks for the wings so that they're real strong. And believe me, all right, you guys, this stuff is tough. <laughs> Paper toys are exceedingly strong. Well, that's the nice thing. You don't have to scale it. When you're building by hand, you don't have to scale anything. You just pick a size you want to make it, and then you make it to that size. I made this 10 inches, and it turns out that the wings are 10 inches from end to end. And so that makes it very simple to do. You don't have to worry about scale. Hi, John. Welcome to the show. Nice to see you. All right, Pokemon. Just keep me informed. All right, Sarah. Talk to you later, Sarah. Take care. Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to paint it purple and blue, but I'm not sure. I've got like 20, 30 different colors of acrylic paint that I've collected for the past 14 years. Uh, no, no, Psycho. You, you don't stay on the wheel because that's unfair to everybody. And the whole thing is, 
here, here's the deal. If you stayed on the wheel, I don't have a wheel big enough to put all the names on. It's, uh, you're on it for a week, and that's all. But it, it, it's, I, I can't do it any other way. And I'm sorry, I wished I could. Thank you, Sarah. Um, Axton is my office, and I don't, I can't. I've got uh, two uh, simulcasts on YouTube and over here on TikTok, and I can't, I can't do that. It's, it's one of those kind of things that, that takes away from everybody else that I have to pay attention to. It's not that hard. You need to make the micro machines first, all right? Because, and I, I would suggest making this uh, out of my YouTube site, make this micro machine. It's probably one of the easiest to do. Austria, welcome to the show. Well, Seiko, it takes 200 coins, um, which is 200 roses. That'll get you a spot on the wheel to win the next one. But sometimes it's tough. The last wheel had 60 spots on the wheel taken up. And so it's a 60 to 1 chance. Well, Jelly Bean, if, if I can help you, I will. Uh, is there anything in particular that was bugging you today? Thank you, Axton. I appreciate your understanding. Oh, that's good, Pokemon. Uh, the live stream will be back at 4. Oh, thank you, Seiko. Uh, Seiko. It's <laughs> Psycho. Jeez, gosh darn it. I hate dyslexia sometimes. Thank you, Psycho. And uh, let me see. It should be telling me uh, scores here. What is that? That is Psycho. Yes, Psycho. You got one and a half tickets right now. Uh, this plane, uh, Constantine, is going to take me right around 225 hours, I think, total when I get done with this. And so it, it's something that, uh, it, you know, if you work on it one hour a night, once you get good at this, um, you can build one in less than a year. Um, Axton, what you will win is one of these A10 micro machines. This takes me about 20 hours to make these micro machines. And so if I was charging hourly rate, that's a thousand dollars. You could win this on a buck. And so I wish everyone luck on this. Oh, thank you. Hi, Empire. Nice to see you. Thank you, Truth, for following me. Well, Empire, um, Honey Bunny and I had a lot of work to do, and I never got the sandwich made. I have all the stuff, so I'll have to make it tomorrow. And so it'll be a roast beast and something else. I'm not sure what. Thank you, Yoga Matic, very much. Well, Axton, um, I don't know how uh, you give coins out on YouTube. You can go to my... Um, Dollar sign, the paper engineer, that is my cash app. And until I get the link tree fixed, and there might be on the link tree for my PayPal. That's the only other way to do that. Uh, Marcus, I have not uh, made any mini uh, tanks. I mean, I have some. Wait a second. Do I have them down here? I don't know where they're at. I have some mini tanks that I made for a game we were playing. It was one of those uh, mech games. But I don't know where they're at. Yeah, I have no idea. And I think maybe they're over here in the micro micro machine area. Let's see if I let's see if I can show you one. Welcome back, Ren. Oh, hi crazy channel. Welcome back. Oh yeah, I do have these. This is a battle cat and a, a chariot. But yeah, you can make mini tanks. The only thing that really works on them is the turret. That's about all you can get to work on mini tanks. All right. And these are, these are small. These are the size of a nickel. Um, American money nickel. <laughs> and so, yeah. 
Hi, Elizabeth. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. I have, yes, Constantine, I made the USS Arizona. And uh, while I was in the gray bar, it went ahead and, um... oh, thank you, Susan. Um, it doesn't matter. The cardstock is always uh, brown. And so I use acrylic paint. That's what I use. Uh, no. No, Spino, I do not. Um, wait a minute, Constantine. I, I missed earlier. What did what did you say? Oh, Noodle Buddy. How you doing? Nice to see you. Wait a minute. What would Constantine see? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, Constantine, I don't. Uh, it was in the unguarded auction in the Gray Bar Motel. We weren't allowed to know who, where, how much, or anything. I just know that somewhere in Tacoma, I have the USS Arizona made. And so, I, uh, sorry, Constantine, I cannot show it to you because it's somewhere I don't know where. Hi, Ninjago Blocks. Welcome to the show. Nice to see you. Welcome back. You bet, Constantine. My day's going good, Crazy Channel. I hope you're doing well also. Hi, Top Tropa. Nice to see you. Welcome, everybody. Well, Constantine, I can't do that. Uh, all you got to do, Constantine, is check out my YouTube channel, The Paper Engineer. I have everything there. And um, so uh, taking photographs and making an album out of it, that's a good idea. Uh, I just don't know. I've, I've already got most everything on my YouTube channel. Got noob? <laughs> well, welcome in, noob. <laughs> nice to see you. I know, uh, Axton, I can't because I'm not building them. And so it's one of those kind of things where, you know, you, I, I, I can't. I don't, I'm not building that. And so it's one of those things. It, it's, it takes me a long time to build stuff because I talk too much. And so, it's tough. Abusive parents? Jeez, Jelly Bean. My dad was abusive to me, and I just dealt with it my whole life. And so, I don't, I don't know what I can tell you. Um, you know, shoot. I'm sorry, Jelly Bean. Uh, talk to your counselors at school. That's the best advice I can give you, and I don't even know if that's good advice. Philly Phil? Welcome back, Philly Phil. You've been here before. I call Kitchen. I want to call you, uh, you know, Pikachu. <laughs> Kokachin. Nice to see you. Welcome in, everybody. And thank you for sharing me with others and putting up 30,000 likes. That's insane cool. Oh, that's good, Patrick. Honey Bunny's a fantastic woman. I love her a lot. Ah, <laughs> she's a great moderator. I do? I, I, I don't know, Elizabeth. <laughs> I know. Burp, gun with wings. Yeah, and it's going to be more amazing once I finish it. Yeah, Jelly Bean, that's, that's really messed up. I am sorry to hear that. Will she listen to you? Can you tell her, Mom, you're 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 wiping me out. Stop. 
Uh, no, Ro, do not. Yeah, burp. <laughs> yeah, this is a bad plane. Cuts tanks in half using this. I do, Eric. Yeah, I'm still making sandwiches. I was going to make one today, but I ran out of time and didn't get it. I have to make one tomorrow. I don't know, Elizabeth. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know what you're asking. I'm sorry. She doesn't listen. Jelly Bean, you have to figure out a way to make her listen. Right? You've got to figure out a way to make her listen. And and maybe Jelly Bean, it's because she's under a, a massive amount of stress. And she can't listen because she's under too much stress. And I don't, because I don't know your situation. I, I don't know how to help that. But maybe that's part of the problem. Oh, yeah, Ro, I get it. I don't know, um, uh, uh, Breck, a uh, jelly bean, uh, Breck's asking how old you are. That might help. Breck, do you have any advice? He's 13. Oh, geez, you're just coming a, t a teenager. There's got to be something, jelly bean, that you can get her to listen to. There's got to be something. I uh, know, Liam, the closest thing to an action figure that I'm making right now is General Grievous. Uh, this is going to move. Uh, but I don't want to ever do this again. This is this is bad. Uh, this is was super nightmare build right here. Honey Bunny, are you here? Can you talk to Jelly Bean, please? Thank you very much. Well, Connor, I don't have time. I, I need you to make one. Can you go to my YouTube channel, The Paper Engineer, and you make this? Yeah, and Jelly Bean, Axton is over here on YouTube. He's rooting for you. Uh, no, I've not built anything bigger in an airplane. And Jelly Bean, everybody that wants to talk to you, uh, take the best advice that you can from everyone and use it. That's the only thing you can do is get the best advice and use it. Thank you, Bob, very much. I do a uh, crazy channel. I have Star Wars and Star Trek, but I only have one Star Trek ship. It's back there, the Enterprise, the original one. Hi, Vinny. Welcome to the show. Uh, yes, burp gun with wings. It is. Lego Master. What? Welcome to my show, Lego Master. I'm a paper master. Oh, I'll have to check it out. Um, let me see. Summers, Summers, network. Don't got it. There's a network error. It won't let me uh, talk to you uh, other than right here. I will try to find it. No, it can't fly. This is this is a toy. It's a model toy. All right, just like model planes that you build out of plastic, they don't fly well. That's because there's nothing uh, about them. That this, this thrust, you have to have thrust to make it fly right. Oh, that's, thing. oh, right now, that's excellent. G-I-A-T. Got it? Thank you. Welcome. Nice to see you. Hi, Logan. Welcome back. Um, What's your sister's name? I'll give her a shout out. 
Uh, yes, I made all of these out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. It's what I teach people how to do. Yes, I did. Uh, yes. And uh, he, here's, I, I also made this one out of paper here. This is another one of those cool things that I did. Right here. And everybody, there's only 15 more minutes to the show. I have the um, I have the the the, 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 the SR seventy one uh, Blackbird. Oh, she's watching me on YouTube. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Happy birthday, Jessica! Everybody on TikTok and YouTube, wish Jessica a happy birthday. It's her birthday today. Uh, what? Wow. So sick. Will it have the warthog face? Uh, I'm going to try to give it the warthog face. Yeah, I'm going to put the shark's teeth on it. It's one of those things I actually can do that. So, yeah. Oh, Jelly Bean, that's awesome news. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honey Bunny. Ah, uh, that's cool. Well, good. Z ZZ. Thank you for showing up at the show, ZZ. I hope we can help your sadness. I really do. <laughs> you bet. Happy birthday, Jessica. Uh, all right, Pokemon. Uh, all right. Um, I will stay. I will stay on till uh, one more. I'll do. I'll finish this show off like I would any other normal show. So I'll stay. Uh, the Darth Vader ship, Louis. Um, that was uh, that was two hundred fifty hours. Jeez, that that's the Darth Vader ship is is steep. Um, it's $13,000 for the Darth Vader ship. Yeah, I do. I love the A-10 too. Uh, this one is going to take me roughly 225 hours to finish this one. And I won't know exactly until then. And so that's, those are the things that are very difficult to judge because I, I can't build when I'm talking. And so then I have to build off camera. And so, but that's about it. Well, and do I call you ZZ? Uh, I think that's right, ZZ. Thank you very much. And I hope you all enjoy things. Thank you for putting up likes and for sharing me with others, you guys. It's it. Huh. Favorite plane as a kid, uh, Pokemon, was the B-17 Flying Fortress. If you're building something like this, a model, toy, that you want to play with, you have to build your stand into it early. It's really important. Now, thank you, Clay. I do, too, uh, looking for a girlfriend. Honey Bunny's talking to him uh, right now, and uh, she is very smart. Uh, Edvin? I use, I don't, you can't make cardboard work. Cardboard's too stiff. But cardstock. And um, I had people say they didn't have this stuff. But cereal boxes and soda boxes and uh, rice. There's so many things in your kitchen that you can use to build with. Tropa, I do not. And it's one of those kind of things where I'm so busy now... I don't have time to make one. Okay, Jelly Bean. Thank you very much. Honey Bunny, we love you. Thank you for your help. 
Uh, he might have to. Um, um, looking for a girlfriend, he might have to. Yeah, I love the B-17. Oh, that's good news, Axton. I'm glad. That's awesome. I uh, know, Pokemon. Please do not. I have more paper than I need. I have more paper. I got paper right now. If I never had another piece of paper, I got 10 years worth. And so, no, I do not need any paper. Thank you, nobody. Oh, Maverick, that's awesome news. Nope, have not made the space shuttle. Don't have time. Oh, Jelly Bean, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, that makes it doubly tough. Doggone people need to be better human beings. Um, I use school glue. Just regular old school glue. All right, PVA in Europe, Elmer's here in the States. Non-toxic, water-soluble. Well, Jelly Bean, um, dang. Yeah. Are your dad and mom divorced? Favorite piece that I made, nobody? Right here. I never had one until last year when I built this Zeku Gundam. Because everything works on this. The knees bend, everything, the spikes work, the guns work. Uh, it's got a hatch to look at the pilot. I can change the thrusters. Uh, you know, this one right here turned into my favorite piece. Not much, Dodo. How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, thank you, Jojo, for the support. I appreciate it, you guys. It really helps. Well, uh, Pokemon, when I was a kid, um, because of my dyslexia, I could never remember their names. So I didn't have a favorite. <laughs> uh, the Zeku Gundam took me 300 hours. Very difficult build. Thank you, Goal, very much. Uh, the Gundam uh, Axton, the Gundam, um, I believe, is going to go to uh, uh, a man that has his own business in South Africa. He offered me $100,000 for the Gundam. And I told him that when the competition was over, I would take it. Well, since there's no competition, uh, I got a hold of him yesterday and he, he said he's out of the, he's out of the country or something he's coming back home soon and when he because he's on a welding project and so when he gets back then i'm going to discuss more about it and uh, have his attorney contact my bank if he wants to make the deal and at that point in time then um all the uh the detail work on the stand gets finished and yeah then i'm gonna make sure he gets it once everything reaches the bank, it's good, except for the mailing process. And uh, I'm going to mail it in a very large box, very well protected. Uh, yes, nobody. Uh, I got out of the Navy after Vietnam in 1977. Star Wars came out. I was instantly hooked. Uh, stars, the plan is that I'm going to make the business better so that my shows become better and uh i mean you know put half the money in the bank for the irs to take and the other half uh probably uh, uh finish my motorcycle and then save the rest of the money it's something i really want to do what are you doing cat what what are you doing i know i let you back in but please go go lay down somewhere and go to sleep <laughs> Hunter, nice to see you. Meow. Meow. What? 
What? Come here. Come here. Look at everybody. There you go. You can't you can't be up here. You're you're in the way of the show. Yeah, my cat's getting in the road. She's a good kitty though. Oh, come on. It's not comfortable up here. You ding. You bet nobody. And and I want to thank everybody for their service and for all their help and everything that they do. Uh well, Jack, it, it would be kind of cool if I was. I am 70. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, looking. Her name is Cupcake. My sister named her. Oh, geez. Uh, an hour and a half ago? Ah, <laughs> uh, Thank you, Hunter. She is a very good cat. All right, Eric. Thank you. Yeah, my sister named her. And she, but she she grew up with me up here. <laughs> yeah, it's my cat. <laughs> she she loves me. I love her too. I built her a special box back there uh, with the uh, 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 foam and stuff in it. And she's thinking about laying down, but I don't know. It, it's one of them kind of things that you don't know what cats are thinking. They're weird. Oh, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm turning into a fossil, you guys. And <laughs> don't know how to stop. <laughs> Hi, Dark. Welcome to the show. And thank you all for sharing me with others. And put up all the likes you guys are doing. Um, shoot. That really helps me get on the For You page. Uh, thank you, stars. <laughs> uh, Honey Bunny says so, too. Well, when I was in the Gray Bar Motel, uh, they closed the jewelry shops. And uh, I was really uh, bored uh, and had nothing to do. I just cut smaller pieces. That's how I make this stuff. Oh, excuse me, Pepsi Burp. Uh, no, I am not going to make a Super Star Destroyer. I will not make another Star Destroyer. They're too hard to do. All right, Axton. Thank you. Yeah, I just drank some. You remember me from TikTok, Blake? <laughs> I'm still on TikTok right now. Yeah. No, I, I don't, Hoffman. Hoff Wait, that's Matthew. Um, I don't have time to do a Panzer. I'd love to, but I just don't do it. All right, Dodo, take care. Nice to see you. And so I saw those guys playing Star Wars. So I knew what it was, RPG. So I went over there and said, what are you doing? And the guy said, playing Star Wars. Now she wants out. Cats are crazy. There you go, goofy cat. Anyway, and they said, we're playing Star Wars RPG. And I went, oh, cool. Can I play? And they said, sure. And so anyway... They were playing, and it was uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday came around, and uh, they started pushing this piece of paper on Star Chart, and I said, what's that? They said, it's our Millennium Falcon. I went, oh, cool. <laughs> up here? I went, no, it's not. It's a piece of paper. And so uh, that weekend, I went up to my cell, and I had a box of mac and cheese. I ate the mac and cheese, and I made this Millennium Falcon, 2010. Friday, they asked me if I could make more. And I said, yeah, I can. And so I started making more and more and more. And now I'm to where I'm making stuff like this. Uh, this actually spins. The turbines uh, spin on. They got their own bearings and stuff. And so that's what started it, 2010. And I've been building ever since and learning my hobby better and better. Um, aviation, not until sometime late next year and so but i want to it's the only it's the only airliner i want to make is the concord i do <laughs> yeah and these are cool too anyone that puts in a dollar's worth of coins on my cash app or on on the shows here it gets you in on trying to win one of these and um this one is going to uh a guy 
that him and his mom and dad have a private school. This is where this one's going. And I got the address today. And so, yeah. Yes, T, I was for 20 years. Very, it was serious. And so, and I can't talk about it here because um, TikTok bans me for it and I can't afford to get banned. Uh, the biggest one dark is the uh, Star Destroyer. And you can see it on my YouTube site, The Paper Engineer. If you want to know why I was incarcerated for that long, you have to go to uh, YouTube. There is a place there, uh, some kids that did me um, a podcast. That's okay, Jack. Take care. It's called Now Chat Podcast. I uh, My show is episode 28. So... If you want to know, that's where you have to go, Ray, is to Now Chat Podcast, episode 28. Can I show the biggest build? Uh, yes, I can. I'm getting smarter. I'm not putting it back. I'm not putting it away. <laughs> I've got it right here. Biggest build, 11,390 plus pieces to make the Star Destroyer. And 536 hours. Uh, what time is it for me? It is 1.30. Uh, what time have you got, Finn? Yes, T. Yeah. And so, um, I wanted to be a better person coming out. And I believe that I have succeeded. And so... Even though I spent 20 years, I believe I'm better man today. 9.30. So, 8.30. 8 o'clock, Finn. Tomorrow, I'll start my first show. Uh, this one. At 8 o'clock, your time. Same with you, Oliver. Yeah. Yep. Same time for you, Oliver. The podcast, Robert, is on YouTube. Hi, Jack. Nice to see you. Uh, what, what is a lucid dream? Blake? Yeah, I remember you, Blake. Uh, my first creation. I have no idea. I just built it on a weekend. All right. I, I think I started it on Saturday and by Saturday night I was finished with this. So I don't know, uh, five hours, maybe six. Welcome back something. <clears throat> this took 536 hours. Thank you, Lost in Space. That was my favorite show when I was a kid. Back in the 60s, Lost in Space. Oh, I couldn't wait for it to come back. Oh, it's good. It's good, Aviation. Nice. And so, what? hey, you guys, what is a lucid dream? I don't know what it is. I'd like to answer that question. <laughs> I'm 70. <laughs> and so, Lost in Space... Was originally done. Lucid dream is when you were aware that you're in a dream. Oh, really? I don't know. I've, I've been chased by bad guys and I always won. And I remember one time I was falling. I kept, I would fall and I'd snap awake. All right. Well, I kept telling myself, doggone it. The people say you die when you fall and you hit the ground. And I was, I just didn't believe it. And so, um, one time, I guess I was about, uh, 12, maybe 13 years old. I fell and I'm falling and I forced myself to hit the ground and I, I was falling and I went, I was standing up that quick. And I went, Oh, wow. Yon, I remember you. Nice to see you. Welcome back. You've been here today. Oh, uh, well, the DeLorean starts after I do the Daleks. 
My day's been going good, you guys. I'm simulcast on YouTube and TikTok. My smallest creation, I'll show you my smallest creation. Actually, I got to show you two small ones just to get the smallest one out. All right. Um, oh, shoot. It's over here. Okay. Have this Star Destroyer right here. This is the micro Star Destroyer. No, no stars. I've never been hit by stuff. That was something really crazy. I was never hit by anything. Cars, planes, trains, you know, Sasquatch, nothing. At least I can't remember ever getting hit with anything. Okay. I made this the size of a dime because it needed to fit in the Star Destroyer that I already had. All right, I made this Star Destroyer. I needed a tantive to go inside it. That's why I made this the size of a dime so that it would fit in here. A craft glue? I don't know, Oliver. I don't know if craft glue will work. I know craft glue is more expensive than Elmer's, but uh, it probably will as long as it doesn't dry too quick. Well, uh, Jethro, I usually have a picture on my laptop or uh, something like that out of a magazine, and I take my dimensions and everything off of a picture. <laughs> well, how's it so small? Okay, you take a toothpick, all right? I started working on this yesterday, all right? You take toothpicks, and you have to take your sandpaper, and you have to sand them down until they're the size you want. All right, by sanding these down, what you're doing is you're making them smaller and smaller uh, diameter. And once you get the diameter that you want, then you cut your pieces. There's 11 engine sections. All right, that's what you have to start with. You bet, Jethro. Thank you, open pipe. Yes, Pokemon. Oh, it has to be Elmer's. And, and there's not much flavor with this, okay? It's flavorless. Because if they put flavor in it, then the kids would be drinking it. No, 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 no. It just tastes like Elmer's glue, which is not spectacular. Have I made Vader's ship? Yes, Finn, I have. Well, I I'll show you some. This is the best one I can show you. All right, these wings come off, okay? Now, fuselage, tail section. They are super strong. I started in 2010 making the micro machines. Okay, started with this one, and I gotta show I gotta show Vader's ship. Put this away so it don't get lost. My micro micro machines stay in this little box so I don't lose them. They're too small; they'll disappear in carpet. Okay, now this build in the Gray Bar Motel, this build was hard to do. All right, because the only thing I had to keep the paper straight once I glued it together was to put it under books for seven days. Okay, now I only had enough books to do one wing. So seven days it took to form this wing piece. Seven days for this one. Seven for this one. Etc. All the way around. And so... Hi, Frog. Welcome to the show. Well, Oliver, the, the cool part of this is there was only two pieces to the chassis. I glued these two pieces together, and then I started building the ribbing on it. That's how you make these things so strong. And once you start putting on the, ch the sheeting uh, on it and then the armor, it makes your models just super strong. Uh, Josh, I only have the S USS Enterprise from the first show. Oh, well, Pokemon, <laughs> that's cool. I'm glad you can answer now. All 
Uh, yeah. And the cool thing is, you can add all the details you want. And if you want, you can add more details. Because a, a toy model, a plastic model, you only get to put on the pieces they give you. With building stuff out of paper, you can keep adding all the pieces you want. Um, well, uh, Damish, uh, um, simple but fascinating. Well, um, just a second. I, I think I can show you that one because I actually do have it. And so, uh, but I have to show this one first. All right. The Enterprise. This is the only Star Trek ship I've got. All right, and remember, you have to build your stands into the chassis ahead of time. And there's your close-up of the Enterprise. I don't know if it's blurry or not, I can't tell. And so, that's it. Okay. Intriguing and then, and, um, and, um, yeah. Let me see. It's this one right here. This one right here. The micro B-wing. All right. It, it comes off the stand. All right. Playing the game, when they're flying them around, it has to be on a stand. All right. But... When the B-wings land, all right, they, the wings have to go down like this and the cockpit has to spin around and it lands just like this. So, a micro machine, very intriguing with moving parts. Thank you, Susan. <clears throat> the most difficult build ever. General Grievous. <laughs> That's okay, Pokemon. You're getting older every single day. I remember when I was 10. <laughs> and now look at me. I'm 70. Every day, you keep getting older. Tannin? Well, I don't get it, Tannin. It's made out of recycled paper. Um, this one, this one probably took me, oh. Because I had to make everything work. So I would say this one, um, this one took me probably uh, 20 hours to build this one. It is, it is, Joe. It is, it's stupid hard to build for me, and I know what I'm doing. And uh, I don't advise anyone to try and make Grievous. Um, it's in my tutorials. Moving parts aren't that hard. Um, it just takes, because see, you can see inside here, this is a bearing that I made. This is a plastic piece that I covered with glue and paper. And um, then I built the bearing inside so that it couldn't come out. And I have a pin that goes through into the chassis so it can't go in. And uh, that's how you do this. I use acrylic paint. And that's all I that's all I paint with is acrylic paint. Everything that I make with all of it is just acrylic paints. Oh, thank you, Damish. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Thanks for your help. And thanks for all the likes you guys are posting. 
That's awesome. And for sharing me with others, that's cool too. Minstrel, min, M-I-N-S-T-R-E-L, minstrel, the minstrel K, minstrel. You play a musical instrument? Uh, I don't know, um, Weeza. Um, I don't know about Titanfall mechs. Um, I understand the mech principle, but I don't know about Titanfall. Uh, my favorite build is this Zeku Gundam. All right, this is it right here. The Zeku Gundam, my favorite. Oh, well, Pokemon, you don't have to do that. I like Pokemon. Oh, look at that. He came back already. <laughs> Your new name, Paper Engineer Lover. <laughs> well, that, that's um, um, yeah, that's maybe not a, a good name, my friend. Um, that, that, that sounds kind of strange. Uh, I hate to say it. No, I have nothing from the Clone Wars. I'm sorry. F L O U a florist? Jeez, that's cool. The minstrel knight. Well, knight, welcome to um, growing stuff. <laughs> um, yes, Litigo, I can show you a close up of the ATST. All right, let me let's see. Put that over here. All right. <clears throat> this has to go back here. Okay, one close up right here. All right, Oliver, take care. Have a great afternoon. Oh, yeah. oh, a flutist. Here, I called him a florist. He plays a flute. <laughs> Sorry, Knight. <laughs> my, my mistake. Bye, Oliver. Take care. Well, the nice thing about that is, uh, Kat, I love games and I like playing those RPGs and things like that. But I have not, since I got my uh, channels up and running, I have not had time to do that. Thank you very much, Autumn. <clears throat> All right, Knight, take care. Thank you very much, Knight, for the rose. Roses. You bet, Sandy. Paper. Recycle paper out of my kitchen. That's what I build with. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Tech. Um, I, uh, that's all I do. I use recycled paper to build with. Uh, no. No, I build them by hand. They're they're singly made, uh, all the parts. I make them by hand. I use recycle everything I can. This was an old ink pen body that I built the uh, housing uh, for the turrets in. But yeah, they're they're paper. Well, user, I show my craft all the time on YouTube. That's where you have to go to see my builds. Because when I'm on the show, I've got YouTube over here. I'm on YouTube. And then I'm on TikTok and Clapper also. And so with simulcasting, um, it's... Oh, thanks. What was that? A team bracelet? Oh, thank you very much. I do have grandkids. 
I have a daughter and a grand uh, daughter and grandkids, and I have a stepson and grandkids, and so yes, but they don't live near me. They're they're a long ways away, so I don't get to see them very much. Oh yeah, it's late in Poland. It absolutely is. Well, an hour and fifty minutes earlier tomorrow is when I do my live. No, haven't done any flying saucers, but this is it. Recycled paper is what I teach people how to build with. It's a cheap hobby. And so, and you can make anything you want. And that is Grever, Grevergors Floridia. Floridia, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I like that Pokemon. That's that's good. Hi, Bear. <laughs> nice to see you. Take care. Go back to work, Bear. Thank you, user. I will. Thank you, Damish. Oh, for your support. Stay hydrated. Oh, no. I'm almost out. Yes, I will. The show's almost over, everybody. No. No, Mike. I, I haven't been working on it at all. He broke my brain. I had to lay him down for a while. I do, I do make templates. Like this body armor that runs around here. I had to make this body armor flat. I had to make a template. Once I cut one piece and bent it around and got it to fit right, then I made a template so that I could make a whole bunch of them so that the right and the left sides were the same. And yes, I do make templates, but not of everything. A lot of stuff is just singularly made. And so, shoot, I made templates for these ribs. But the ribs changed as soon as I started working back hill, uh, back downhill. Uh, thank you, Tech. <laughs> and I will definitely keep it up. Oh, user, that would be awesome. Go to my have you, user. Have you been to my YouTube site? Uh, I could, Joe, but I I don't have time. Yes, I have tutorials on YouTube. Thank you, Pokemon. I will see you later. Take care. Ah, this is my favorite, too. Uh, yes, I have Bruce. Hello, little Nomi. How are you? I'm fine, Bruce. What have you been building? Well, lately, I've been building flying saucers. But that is so we can come visit the humans on Earth. Oh, Bruce, that's awesome, cool. I, ho I hope that you come soon. We are, little Nomi. 2024 is our year. Thank you, Bruce. Take care. See you in 2024. Yes, little Nomi. Good day. Okay, that's Bruce. <laughs> I, I know. I know, let it go. It, it's one of them weird things. I just don't get it. Yes. It, yes, it is. Absolutely. Um... I, I don't know what would be Z E G O R Z uh, Grezegor. I I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. I wish I did. That's okay, Bear. <laughs> I'm letting you guys deal with it. Uh, yes, Bruce is chill. This is the way. I love the Mandalorian. Gregory? G-R-E-G-O-R-Y. Gregory. Oh, 
thank you, Gregory, very much. You will probably have to tell me that again next time you come in the show. I know it would, but I'm telling you what, Charlie, I do not have time to do that. Everybody, there's only five more minutes of the show, and I have got to go. Well, <laughs> unfleeted, unf unfleeted, flittered. Well, fleet, <laughs> I can't. I don't have time. Uh, the TIE Fighters are, um, well, that, oh, geez. Uh, the TIE Fighters, the TIE Bomber is, uh, is 20K. The TIE Fighters are 15. And so they're, they're really expensive. My favorite make so far, the Gundam. By far, this is my favorite build so far. And I never had a favorite until this one came along. It is one of those kind of things that is just insane cool. I love it. And so this is my favorite build. Oh, that's good, Charlie. Remember, make the micro machines first, Charlie. It's very important to learn how to make how to get the paper to work. And so this is probably one of the easiest builds right here. Thank you, Calvin. Thank you very much, Calvin. Uh, I don't know, Landon. It just is. Out of everything that I built, the Zeku Gundam is my favorite. Probably because of all of the moving parts that it has. The legs work. The roller blades work. The heels are spring-loaded. The AI pilot uh, cockpit opens up. Uh, the arms all work and move. And I built guns for it. And the uh, thrusters are interchangeable. So, I don't know. Just all of everything. Hi, Ashoka. <laughs> nice to see you. I love your show, by the way. And so anyway, there's only three more minutes of the show, you guys. It's, it's winding down. And so, yeah. Hi, Fisto. Thank you, Incorrection, for the rose. I appreciate it. Thank you for all your support. Uh, yes, uh, Gloomy. Yeah, this is my favorite right here. The Zeku Gundam. All right, and everything on this works. And um, the knee spikes, the roller blades work. The heels are spring-loaded. Uh, the arms, they work at the shoulders move. And the elbows and the wrists move. The weapons are inter uh, come off. And um, you can get to the AI pilot. Favorite clone trooper? Rex. Thrusters are interchangeable. Yeah, it's a Zeku Gundam. A uh, super deformed Zeku Gundam. YT? Yes, I remember you. You caught the end of the show, my friend. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a pretty insane build. I really, I really liked building this one. And so, that had, yeah. Very cool build. Uh, yes, I've seen the new Obi-Wan series. I don't know. I just, I didn't enjoy it very much. It's good. Um, it's just not my favorite. All right, YT. I'll be back two hours earlier than right now. And so, everyone, I have to say good day. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you for not worrying about who you are, where you are, what you are, what color you are, what religion you are. We're human beings in the human race, and we need to start pushing that forward. Uh, the awards in the background are all uh, 
things I won at the county fairs in the state. I won them all. And so, take care, everyone. Uh, Utubers, I will see you uh, tomorrow. Have a 